Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to the show. Today we have a cool unboxing and installation in the Haley Lab of the Diamond Audio DPST-12 or Passive Spare Tire Subwoofer. A lot of you guys have asked about these things. Well, we asked them if we could play with one and they sent us to play with it. Let's unbox it, let's take a look, and let's hear how this thing performs in the Haley Lab. Stay tuned. any time we get something like this and you want to check out the specs that are available without opening the subwoofer power handling is 300 watts RMS 600 watts max it's 11 inch non amplified spare tire subwoofer solid non resonant die cast enclosure construction frequency response is 20 to 500 fits most vehicles without removing spare tire we'll see dimensions are over here and we have 14.2 with 5.9. On the back side, we have similar information, just in different languages. There's also a QR code that you can scan. Same information on this side. And then a cool picture here. It is kind of heavy. Opening it up right on top, we find the owner's manual. Quick perusement, it talks about where and how to put this in the spare tire. It's kind of a universal application. They do make an amplified version of this as well as this non-amplified if you're into that kind of thing. The last page has a tech support phone number as well as a mailing address. And of course, for notes. Who doesn't like notes? This top piece of foam and the guy itself. Let's get this thing out of here. This is all metal here. Obviously this is the back side of the speaker. Inside the box we also have these two lockdowns. They're different thicknesses depending on what size bolt you have in there already. The spacer slash lockdown and a subwoofer wire. It's a dual voice coil. It's an eight pin plug, which then comes into pairs. So we have two reds and two blacks that go down into four reds and four blacks. Let's take a closer look at the sub itself. On the top, it has this cool grating. This is all metal, aluminum it feels like. Looking at it from the side, we have two handles, one on this side, one on this side, all aluminum construction. Flipping it over, we could see the input side here. Looking at it a little closer, plug clips in. If we separate these out, forum voice coil on this side, forum voice coil on this side. It also reiterates 150 watts RMS, 300 watts max on this side, and also on this side. Flipping it over onto the back, we have foam here. This is where the rim would sit up against it. And then we have screws. Now you know as well as I do, if we're gonna put screws on something, that means I have to unscrew them and see what it looks like. Let's see if we can get these screws out. Standard Phillips style machine screws. Ooh, this exposes the woofer. We have a huge rubber surround here and here. Cone, definitely some form of metal. And with more screws, let's keep going. It does come apart. Awesome. Oh, all right. I don't know about you, but I've always wanted to look inside of one of these. Curiosity is wonderful. We get to see what is in it. In the amplified version, this would be the amplifier, but for this as a standalone, it's just a circuit board that goes off to that eight pin plug inside of the handle. As you can see, there's insulation around the backside of the driver. It's square with a hole, pre-cut to go in. That exposes the woofer, holy crap. The basket for the woofer is in fact this whole piece of aluminum. That's how they've managed to do this. This isn't like you can pull this woofer out. It is all one piece. Wires are soldered into place. They're soldered over here. So it's not like it just comes apart. Turn it on the side just a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on here. This just comes right into this piece of aluminum. This is all one solid piece. This whole basket assembly is all this. So this woofer is designed right into here. The spider attaches into it through these vented holes here. And then of course the big magnet on the back. This is a much bigger magnet than I was thinking it would have. And this is pretty substantial. They don't tell you the size of the magnet, but to give you some form of a reference point, iPhone 13 Pro Max magnet, it's pretty big. Also, 
on the back side where this rests up against here. There's foam along this. This is a tongue and groove here, so it's like a C channel, and this has something that sticks up, so it goes in like this and overlaps. It's not a flat contact. All right, so my curiosity has been fulfilled. I know what this looks like on the inside. They put a lot into something as simple as this. Like, you look at it and you think this is way easier looking than it should be, but it's actually quite complicated, and a lot of work went into making this structure here, and it's fairly thick. I'm gonna put this back together. I'll meet you guys in the car, and we'll take a look at how this is going to fit in the spare tire and if it fits in the spare tire. Looking in the back of the Haley Lab, there's the spare tire. Let's get this sub in here and see what it does. The orientation of the spare tire kind of matters for this installation. This one is facing up like this, not ideal for this application. What we really want is a tire that sits upside down like this, where the outside of the rim is facing the floor. We flip this one, there's a jack and whatnot that's normally underneath here, this piece here. When we put the subwoofer in, it's gonna stick up a little bit higher than we want it to. However, we really just wanna see how this thing performs in this application. If this was the final installation where we had to do it like this, we could easily add shims to this piece of foam, lifting it up just a little bit so that our trunk liner would fit flat inside of here. There's always a solution. I believe they also make a slim version of this too. Our factory won't fit in here anymore. That's why it came with those two other pieces. And comparing it to our factory one, looks like it is the thinner one. The reason why it has this butterfly and nut on the top is so that you can make a custom height and shave it off if you need to, which I need to. Loosen the two up, take the butterfly and the washer off, leave the nut on the stem, thread it back through. Like all spare tires, just roll it down until it gets all the way down, and then spin the bolts down level with this. The whole secret to these style enclosures are their ability to couple with the car. They need to become part of this. If you just set it back there and turn it on, you're not gonna get the effect of the subwoofer. It needs to be super tight. When done, you should be able to grab it and lift up the whole car. Not physically off the ground, but you know what I mean. There's a rubber gasket on the top of this. Uh, all right, it's nice and tight. We have a 500 watt amplifier in this car that we're gonna hook this up to. Sub is connected. Let's get up in the front of the car. Take a listen. Sometimes we do things and our expectation level is, is kind of skewed to what we're looking at. Even though we've done some pretty crazy things people have sent us, mm -hmm. and we're like, holy geez, that's like unbelievably how much bass comes out of it or how good those speakers sound. And it's always a joy when that happens because it's like, wow, they're, they're moving the needle forward. And I'm happy to say this is one of those instances. Holy Jesus, we've been sitting here listening to this for obviously a couple minutes now because why wouldn't we? And dang, I will say this, we rattled it loose, Ooh, my bad. So I went back there with a pair of uh, pliers and really wrenched down on that bolt so that it's like, it really needs to be on there as tight as humanly possible. As you saw, I just did it finger tight and that didn't do it. It didn't cut it at all. Within like two songs, it was back there going quack, 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 quack. So it needs to be super tight, mm -hmm. super tight. Yeah. You guys ready for this? I don't think raise this. Obviously, we're gonna do our best to let you hear it. So musically, it sounds really clear, really full. We had a normal subwoofer in here and the type of music that she listens to, modern, country. It sounds really good. It sounds equally as impressive. I don't think she's gonna notice the difference that we swapped woofers. Final thoughts? That's it. For me, it's just impressive how much thought they put in these things. 
right? I honestly they always think they're not gonna work. <laughs> well, but that's my point. Like, yeah. you know, you see them and you're like, ah, not, I'd rather to have a bit. And then it's like, oh my God, how much space come out with this? Yeah. I think it fits a specific need. If you need all your trunk space, I will say this. Don't think you're gonna put it in the trunk of a car and have the same results. No. Because you have the back of the seat, you have the rear deck. But if you have something like an SUV or a hatchback, yeah, it'll it'll do what it just did in here, which is nice. And like I said, there's a small 500 watt amp on it. Perfect, sounds good, puts out a ton of bass. Oh, it's insane. I like it. It's pretty cool. I like it too. I'm gonna leave it in here for a while and... Just rock it. See if, see if she noticed. Right, that would be cool. One thing I do have to do is because that bolt sticks up a little further, so I'm gonna cut that flat so that I can get the top piece on, and then yeah, we're gonna make some spacers so that the floor will sit flat. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. She's not gonna know. No, and I'm gonna put the jack. I'm gonna collapse the jack and put it on one of these sides because mm -hmm. there is room for it there. I don't want her driving around with a jack. So that's kind of Without important. the jack. Yeah, yeah, gotta have the jack. All right, guys, Fernando. On to the next one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you like this. Make sure to head over to Diamond Audio's website. I'll put it right here, and it'll be a link in the description so you can check these things out. See if it's something that'll work for you. You guys have a great night, as always, and we'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.